like regulations. Yeah. So when you want um, to uh, interfere with the, with the policy in the company, the first person who would hate the regulation is going to be the developer itself. So that's why um, we are actually um, trying to um, find a way in the middle gap in between this graph here. Uh, because uh, some parts, regulation is ahead of technology, and some parts, technology is actually against regulation. So why do we need regulation at the end of the day? We need some sort of trust, some sort of data protection, a risk management system, and, and some companies, which is my company as well, is protected by the law. And some types of the regulations, as you can see, is like ISO, yeah? Like if you want ISO, you need to you need segregation of duties, for example. And if you want uh, SOX in a bank or a PCI DSS and others. So for uh, seven seeds of DevOps, we have one C missing. Any ideas on that? I mean, all of this stuff, many people know, but that particular C is actually missing. Compliance, yes, thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so the compliance is becoming uh, more important in our lives because as many fintechs are failing on regulations side in our com country as well, as you know in the latest news, um, we are actually looking for uh, continuous compliance flows in the companies as well as security. So this is a good slide because it has some sort of um, secure all endpoints and I hope devices, you know, basically the implementations and everything. So how do we secure all the endpoints? We need to adopt the zero trust uh, architecture, API service handling, this is a really important one, and secure the pipeline access service. So protecting the CICD tools and the infrastructure as a security structures, basically. Um, so the most important part is segregation of duties. This is the part where uh, some of us working with me, we had a problem with the developers because they don't like this. They want to be able to, I mean, we want to be able to deploy our own structure with our, our own uh, infrastructure needs. Well, this is like a strong identity and authentication part, uh, obviously for the fintechs or uh, for the regulation part, uh, for the companies. Um, well, automating the compliance checks is a really good idea, which we did in, in a few companies before. Uh, policy as a code, automatic control gates, continuous evidence collection. Uh, obviously now the AI is coming in. This is becoming more, more and more important. And like policy interruptions with LLMs, predicting compliance drift, explaining risk in plain language, for example, is one of them. Uh, and companies are actually starting to invest on this a lot more than before. And um, well, some technologies like HashiCorp, like uh, Prisma Cloud, like AWS, Audit Manager, Azure Policy, GCP, Azure Workloads. Uh, so all these needs to be implemented, for example, if you want to get PCI DSS in a regulated environment. But uh, this is a, a flow which I draw uh, from the beginning. So it's actually showing um, a simple flow, including AI, like a policy translator, or um, like audit summarizer, for example, uh, like a machine learning structure. And um, like uh, I'm only monitor from AI uh, perception using a gatekeeper, let's say. Uh, policy as a code, obviously, for the Kubernetes coming in from the DevOps team to the development team. And, and it is showing a basic example of segregation of duties of, um, I mean, two uh, mindsets, but as a flaw. Um, so I, I'm really happy that it's actually showing the actual structure. As we say, modern regulated DevOps and regulated doesn't mean slow it. It means smart, traceable, and automated. Thank you very much, and let's keep in touch. Thank you. Thank you very much.